Long ago, the Hebrew people were taken from their home in Jerusalem and forced to live in a foreign land called Persia. King Xerxes was the king of the land, and one day he took a humble Hebrew girl named Esther to be his queen. But little did she know that her royal position would mean that she would one day have to risk her life to save her people. This is the story of Queen Esther. Aren't you forgetting something, Hebrew? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. I forgot I was in the presence of so great a stallion. <laughs> Not my horse, me. I'm the king's advisor. For years, Mordecai, you have refused to bow to me. Soon I will not only punish you, but all of your people as well. There's a proclamation already in place. <laughs> oh, most merciful king, I need your help. What? Who dares enter my presence without me first calling him? Forgive me, but it's my family. We need food desperately. Please help us. I will gladly help your family. Let's start with one less mouth to feed. Take her away. <laughs> These rules, Uncle Mordecai, they seem so unfair. Esther, Persian kings demand respect. One can't just enter his presence like that. You must be invited. You know that. All too well. It's not easy being married to the king. Class, Mr. Antony has prepared a science experiment to answer this question. Which will hit the ground first, the apple or the grape? Ready, Mr. Antony? You got it, Megan. <laughs> and the answer is <laughs> Anthony will hit the ground first. Help me. Someone help me! Wait here, kids. Okay? I... Uh, I guess so. Well, let's take you to our town to make sure you're not injured. Hmm. You bugs have a town? Yes, Bugglesville. It's right near here, by the palace wall. Oh. You know, I think my wing is starting to hurt. Oh! Oh, the pain! The pain! Emergency, kids. Let's get him to Bugglesville. This plan is perfect. What's all this? It's news from the king. 
finally we can rid ourselves of those awful foreigners. On the 13th day of the month of Adar, hereby granted by the king, all Hebrews in the kingdom will be terminated. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Haman, this is your doing. <laughs> We've got company. Oh, uh, yeah, so what is, in fact, the essence of the quandary here? Megan saved this guy's life. She pulled him from the clutches of a bee-eating monster. That's right. Oh. Oh. Hi, everyone. Name's Buzzra. Say, nice town you've got here. Welcome to Bugglesville. Yes, Spider! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, you brats? Yeah, <laughs> you kids. That's just Webster. He's okay. Yeah, all right, uh, sure. <clears throat> As I was saying, Nice place you got here. Underground, adequate food source, well hidden from attack, ideal. Why, yes, we like it here. It's a safe and comfortable place for us. Well, I think this is cause for a celebration. Since Megan has saved my life, and all of you have been so kind to me, I want to throw her and Bugglesville a party. What do you say? I say a party for our brave Megan is a real good idea. That would be fun. <laughs> you bet. Puzzra, you don't have to do that. You deserve it, Megan. Well, got to start getting things together and, oh, would it be okay if I bring some friends? <laughs> yes, indeedy. The more, the merrier. Great. See you later. Well, y'all, I guess we're gonna have us some company. Yeah! <laughs> Uncle Mordecai. Shh! Not so loud. These are dangerous times for us. It's the work of Haman. He tricked the king into signing that decree to have all the Hebrews killed. And Esther, that means you too. You will not be spared from this execution just because you are the king's wife. Remember, his word is law. There must be something we can do. You could go to the king and ask him not to go through with this. Me? But you know the king's rule. I can't just walk into the throne room uninvited. He could have me killed. Either way, your life and the lives of our people are at risk. Yes, but what am I supposed to do? Come on! Killed! The more killed! Hey, why can't I eat any? They're for the party! Because, my impatient rotund friend, the party has not yet begun. Look, I'm here, you're here, the fairies are here, the party started! As well, eat the berries now. Ah, oh, no thanks. I'm kind of full, Dad. Maybe later. No. It's okay. I'll get more berries. 
The time has come for us to move into a new home. Oh. Yeah. The giants destroyed our hive when they began expanding their palace. Now it's our turn to use the same force on others. Bugglesville will be ours. During the party at Bugglesville, when I sound the alarm, the takeover will begin. Why, that no good phony bee! Hmm, it seems we have company. about, brave little Megan. I'm taking you away, so you can't foul up my plan. Ah! <sighs> so sorry you'll miss the party, but I can't have you spoil the surprise. <laughs> now what? How? Lord, I know it's up to me to approach the king. Please give me the courage to go through with it. Let's go, guys! Liven it up! This is a party! Smile! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Come on in. After you. First, I've got to look presentable if I'm going to see the king. So you have to get out of here. What is that? Anthony, have you seen our guest of honor? No, I don't know where Megan is. You go ahead and introduce Buzra. Hopefully Megan will be here soon. Friends of Bugglesville, honored guests, our new friend Buzra would like to say something. Fellow citizens of Bugglesville, you are too kind. <laughs> I thank you for your gracious hospitality and most delicious food, and can only add that I will enjoy being your new king. Our what? Huh? Uh, pardon me, but I do believe you said king. You heard right, sweet fine. Are you? Oh, stop that! Put that down! I just got those in! Oh. From this day forward, this town will be known as Beesville! Ah.
Here's Bugglesville. Here's the huge swarm of bees. And here's me. I'm only one little ant up against a big angry swarm. Why did I end up here in the first place? And what can I do to help? To the king, to ask him not to kill our people. And you know that if you enter the king's presence without being called, you yourself can be killed. I know, but I must do something. I'm proud of you, Esther. I believe that God has made you queen for such a time as this. This is your purpose. I pray that the king extends his gold scepter to you. Only then, you will know that he won't punish you. Goodbye, Uncle Mordecai. That's it! Maybe I've also ended up here for a purpose. If she can talk to the giant king, well, I can talk to Bugglesville's new King Bee. What? Who dares enter my presence without being invited? Queen Esther! What are you... Why have you charged in here? You know the rules, O oh great king. Even the queen must follow them. Have her taken away and put to death! Wait! Whatever she has to say was important enough to enter unannounced. Come forward, my queen. What is it you want? Up to half my kingdom if you desire. Please, ask me for anything. Thank you, your majesty. Does anybody have the name of a good bee exterminator? Anthony, have you seen Megan yet? No, I'm really starting to worry about her. I hope she's okay. Hey guys, look, there's no need to worry. Hey Megan, where you been? Wow, what's with her? <laughs> Whatever it is, she's an ant on a mission. She's heading straight to Buzzra! Let go of me! I must talk to Buzzra! What is it that you have to say to me, the king of Beesville? Well, since you asked... Get out of our town! Guards, take her away! You can't do this to me! I saved your life! <laughs> Silence her! Oh, don't you want anyone to know that a puny little ant saved your life? Guards, silence her, I said! That you were kicking and screaming because you were caught in a web and afraid that big old spider was gonna eat you. Is this true, Buzzra? A spider? Come on! Help me! Help me! <laughs> Silence! I'm the king! Do you think I'd be afraid of a... spider? Let me refresh your memory. But we are. Maybe we ought to buzz out of here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Ezra, I think it's time for you to buzz off, too. Look, I'm sorry. Maybe I could just stay in a little house. I won't make any trouble. No! Hey, guys! Guys! I was just kidding about being scared. Hey, wait up! Let's hear it for Megan! <laughs> King Xerxes, allow me to explain. I was trying to help you. Mordecai, you should be very proud of your niece. She did a brave thing for your people. When I signed that law, I didn't know it could hurt my queen. I am proud, your highness. More than you can imagine. I think there was a reason she was your queen. And as for you, Mordecai, it just so happens that I have an opening for a personal advisor if you're interested. Oh, I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> you didn't have to do this for me. I didn't do that much. You saved Bugglesville. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. What I mean is, sometimes you're out in the right place at the right time, and it was my right time to help Bugglesville. Megan, right. I know I'm here at this party for a special purpose. What, pray tell, is that? To eat! <laughs> because of Esther's bravery, she saved her people and served as queen for many years to come. <laughs> 